everyone and welcome in crochet life and stuff with Deborah presents me with some happy mail you saw the thumbnail this is a box from lion brand and I have started the opening process but I'm not in there yet see I'm doing better I just didn't want it to take four years for me to do this on camera so let me get this open the rest of the way with my old shoddy scissors. My friend Sean is actually going to bring me some kind of a knife device that will help me get into boxes better. So he'll be doing that soon. It's a weird, the seam's in a weird place on this box. And of course, that probably didn't go through. Oh, because there's another seam. Alrighty then. Why is there a box in a box? Oh, I know why. I forgot what I ordered. Um, first off, I will show you some things that I remember ordering. Now, I made um, Cinnamon Stitches Summer Breeze Tank Top in a color called Lemon from this very yarn. This is Ice Cream Cotton Blend. However, this is Blueberry. It's got a little fuzz there. Um, yes, blueberry. I thought that was really pretty with the blues and the teals, a little bit of like green in there. It'll make a nice top. Not sure if I'll do the summer breeze again or not. I might, but this is so pretty and it's pretty soft, easy to work with. And it says that it is a four weight. Yeah. It's a nice medium four-ish, medium to light four-ish. It's got a nice twist on it. It is machine washable and dryable, it says. Made in Turkey, 47% cotton, 53% acrylic. Um, and it says to use a 5.5 millimeter hook, an I-9 hook, pardon me. Sorry, I felt like I had an entire family of frogs trying to, you know, burden my throat there for a second. So yes, these were on sale. I don't remember how much they were on sale for, but I know it was a really good deal. So they're on clearance, so they're probably going out, but this is a nice yarn. If you get a chance to use the ice cream cotton blend, Garments, wearables, I like in cotton, or at least a cotton blend. I'm in the South. You can't have anything that doesn't breathe, because then you won't be breathing, okay? I've got this sitting on my spare cube. I have one, essentially one cube left out of all of this after putting the spare pieces together. That's where I'm setting that for right now. And then, oh wait, before we get to the box within a box, I forgot I ordered this little guy too. So you order something and it's been like a month. They have just taken forever to get their stuff here. Okay, the ice cream cotton blend. Of course, it doesn't give the price, but that's perfectly fine. I had those, four of those. And I got this, I, you know, I don't know why I got this. Oh my gosh, they're flipping adorable. These are the bonbons. These are itty bitty, teeny weeny little skeins of yarn. They're a two weight, they're a fine. So again, I don't know what I'll do with them, but this is in, in the beach colors. Aren't they pretty though? Yeah, I don't know what I'll do with them, but the, if I remember correctly, they were pretty inexpensive and just so stinking cute. How could I not, right? Matter of fact, that can go there. I've got a hook, it can go there. Okay, now there's a box within this box. Let's move this box out of the way. This will be a mystery box. Yep. And I'm kind of hoping I get what I've seen some of the other folks get in their mystery boxes because yeah, this time around it was pretty cool. I did not go for the chunky. I went for the light, which is threes or fours. Why? Who knows? That's just what I decided to do at that point in time. Okay. Yes! Yes! I think I got exactly the same thing that Crystal Bag of Day got. I think. Um, they're in packs of three. This is the regular ice cream yarn. And let me take one of these out because I can't really see the label properly through all that plastic. Okay, and the, 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 uh, this mystery box, it was 20 bucks, $19.99 on sale because their regular price is stupid. So it was on sale, I said, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Okay, 
This is Lion Brand Ice Cream. Look at those colors. This is in the color pistachio. Uh, 100 grams, 360 meters. It is a light three, but it's not a terrible three by any means. It's not like a super light three. It's, it's you know, I'm a three, but when I grow up, I'm gonna be a four. That, that's kind of what this one feels like. It's 100% acrylic, but it's nice and soft. It's got a little bit of fuzz to it. I wouldn't go frog happy on this guy because I think it is, you know, got a little more fuzz. It says machine wash and dry. Take that at your own risk. Uh, trying to see if there's any more information besides it being pistachio. But yeah, isn't that kind of cool? Do I know what I'm doing with it? No, because I tend to buy yarn and then eventually it tells me what it wants to be. Yeah. Okay, I'm setting this down here with the blend. <sighs> Mandala! I don't know why I had to say it like that, but y'all know I did, right? Okay. Yes, I'm busting into the plastic. And I have some Mandala cakes up there that I bought when they were on sale at Joanne. I mean, they were on sale hella, hella cheap. They're not the same color, which is fine. This is a nice variety. I got three. These three are identical. This is called Elf. That is a nice color set. It's got, uh, let's see, we start with a super light yellow beige here in the middle. It's not a bright yellow, but it's more beigey. Then it goes to a darker tan, more of a camel color. And then we've got a little bit of almost mint green. On my screen, it's looking bluer than it is. It's got a little bit of a green tint to it. Then we go into blue, almost like a light cornflower blue. Then we go into a light green, not a mint green, but sort of just a lighter green to a darker green that's almost a pine color, but not super dark. And then back to the light white and the yellow. I wonder if these are wound the same. Nope, <laughs> they are all wound differently. This one starts with that white color in the middle. This one starts with the light green in the middle. And this one starts with the dark green in the middle. Eh, it'll do. With these, I think, you know, that these mandalas look awesome in corner to corner blankets. Just because of the way they work out and they fade in and out, you make them nice and big. And if they're not the same, it really doesn't matter. If I wanted to be real picky about it, if I was like, I don't color control. Yeah, that's just not me. It's, it's, that's way too much like work. Cause I crochet for myself. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to sell an item or anything. So, but you could color control these and make them all look all the same. And the funny thing is, this is probably what I was most excited about in the mystery box. I saw several people get this in this color. And this color is just mesmerizing to me for some reason. And I can't find a good place to open this bag. It doesn't have a little flap or anything. So it is a three skeins of basic stitch premium in that gorgeous, gorgeous color that is called cayenne. Look at this. This is like fall in a ball, y'all. Uh, it really is. It's a four weight, two, uh, 100 grams, 200 meters. And yeah, you, you've all seen basic stitch. People show up before. It is a four. Uh, yes, those are bats on my nails. It's Halloween season after all. Um, it's really nice and soft. As Crystal would say, yeah, it's scarfable. It's not scratchy at all. There's just the teeniest bit of fuzz on it. So it probably works really well and easily. I've used this, uh, basic stitch before and never had any problems with it. Me, still kind of a beginner, doesn't get all splitty. It doesn't get all weird, but I really like this color cayenne and I'll probably find something that matches. I'm looking around at my yarn, something that matches and works with it so that I can make something up with it because I'm really, really liking this a lot. This makes me happy that I got this color after I saw other people getting it. I'm like, oh, I hope I get that one. Oh, I hope I get that one. Well, Crystal got like three or four of the same weight things and they were all identical boxes. So, but I think that her Mandela's were all wound the same. So I missed out on that, but you know, I'll live. I have up here, one, two, three. 
I think I have seven of these mandelas that, I, like I said, I bought hella cheap that I really love the color of. They're called unicorn because of course they are. And yeah, I gave some away, but I don't know what I'm going to do with those with the rest of them yet. Like I said, it'll tell me what it wants to be when it's ready. Right? That's how it works, isn't it? That's how it works for me. Mm. All this squishy goodness that I have to put in my cubes somewhere, decide how I want to put it. They're not super organized yet. They, I just kind of had to get stuff up there and off the bed. Because when we move the stuff around, because my little six cube thing that has like the stair step effect is over there where I'm looking now on another table. I was going to put this up and make it four cubes wide and three cubes high because that's how many cubes I have. But four cubes wide was just a little too wide to fit on this dresser and I didn't want to get like a piece of wood and put it on there or anything. I just figured, forget it. The measuring tape, yeah, it'll work with it being four high. And I can reach. I can even reach the top, which you can't see. So there you go. Um, that was flat footed, not tippy toes. So yes, that was my happy meal. Let's see if I can get some of all of it together. I see people hold up all their yarn at once and I'm like, okay, can I do that without dropping it? Probably not. Oh, and I forgot I put that there. Let's see, there's this, two, three, four. Oh no, it's gonna fall. There we go. <laughs> that was indeed Happy Meal today, even though it took Lion Bread a month to get it to me. I don't know what's up with, I mean, I know shipping of everything is ridiculous right now, but a month for an order when I've seen people order ice yarns and that ish is coming from Denmark. Okay. And it gets here in less than a week. Yeah. This is just coming to the middle of the country. I, I could have driven there in two days and, you know, and come back. Come on, Lion Brand. I know you're better than that. But I am happy with the yarn, so I'm not mad at it. I just had to fuss a little bit. Just a little. <laughs> Thank y'all for coming by for some Happy Mail goodness. Little uh, shopping haul, if you will. And uh, hope I see you real, real soon. Bye now.